Whatever you practice, you will get good at. If we get in the habit of doing our skills lazily, we are actually training ourselves to perform worse at the meets instead of better. Tap swings might seem pretty boring just going back and forth on the bar, but don't be lazy. Stay tight, stay hollow. Point those toes, practice it right so you can't get it wrong at the meet. Sometimes when you don't concentrate on what you're doing, your legs and abs get loose and floppy. Remember, you get good at what you practice. Do you want to get good at floppy tap swings? You probably done a million pullovers, right? Sometimes we don't focus on form because we're just in a hurry to get up on the bar. But as my coaches tell me, form is always important, even on something as little as a pullover. No wimpy casts. If you want high casts at the meets, you've got to actually do it at practice. Coach always tells us that we get lazy going into our handstands, forgetting to hold our arms tall and crown, and forgetting to do a high straight kick. Listen to your coach. Train yourself to do it right. If you always practice super high releve walks, it will improve your beam score so much at the meets. But how often do we get super lazy and train ourselves to be not that good? As gymnasts, we know that conditioning is hard. Strength doesn't come easily. Do your exercises with the proper form, even if it means going slower and doing less repetitions, even if it means that your teammates are finishing before you. There are no shortcuts or easy ways to get stronger. Your body will become good at whatever you practice. If you are usually practicing at a 7.5 level, then that's what you will become very good at. That's fine if you want to score a 7.5 at the meet, but if you want to score a 9.5 at the meet, you will have to practice that way every day. What score are you going to get at your next meet? You decide that by deciding how much effort you are going to give at practice today and tomorrow and all the other days.